Have you ever pondered the difference between a quasar and a black hole? They are two fascinating yet distinct celestial phenomena intricately linked in the cosmos. Let's dive into the cosmic world to learn more. Quasars to start with are incredibly luminous and distant cosmic entities. Identified as active galactic nuclei, they emit intense electromagnetic radiation, spanning from radio waves to X-rays. On the other hand, a black hole is a region in space-time where gravity is so potent that nothing, not even light, can escape its gravitational grip. Now you may be wondering about their physical properties. The energy source of a quasar originates from matter spiraling into a supermassive black hole at the heart of a galaxy. This process generates immense heat and radiation making quasars some of the brightest objects in the universe. Black holes, however, are incredibly dense objects with mass concentrated in a single point or a small area. They come in various sizes from stellar black holes to supermassive black holes nestled at the centers of galaxies. What about their relationship? Quasars are often linked to the existence of supermassive black holes at the core of the galaxy housing the quasar. These black holes are thought to be the catalyst for the prodigious energy emitted by quasars. And the energy they emit, Quasars produce intense electromagnetic radiation across a broad spectrum of waves, including X-rays, ultraviolet, and visible light. Black holes, conversely, do not emit light or radiation on their own. The radiation detected is usually from matter spiraling into the black hole before it crosses the event horizon. As for observation, quasars appear as very bright light sources in our sky. Observing quasars has yielded critical insights into the early universe and distant galaxies. Black holes, however, cannot be directly observed since they do not emit light. Detecting black holes typically involves observing the gravitational effects on surrounding objects or the electromagnetic radiation from matter falling into the black hole. So while quasars and black holes have fundamental differences, our understanding of them is often intertwined. This is because quasars are frequently found in the heart of galaxies harboring supermassive black holes. In essence, these celestial phenomena continue to intrigue and mystify us, prompting us to delve deeper into the uncharted territories of the cosmos.